Hi, I'm at Wacken. 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 See that? <laughs> now, I'm with a band from kind of far away. Where do you come from? We come from Beirut. Beirut, Middle East. Middle East. From Lebanon. Lebanon. <laughs> wow. Uh, that was so, okay. <laughs> it's actually Middle East, Lebanon, Beirut. Okay. But uh, you also have a name, which is Blackium. Yep. And you have a history. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I was reading about your band and I was amazed with every, se you know, with every sentence. <laughs> I was like, civil war. Then there was the band starting out. You were imprisoned. Then you were one of the first bands to be it played on the radio. One of the first rock festivals you were playing there. You were getting, um, you were getting second, uh, no, uh, seventh place out of 3,000 bands on the global battle of the bands, with being the only metal band there. Yeah. So this is, you know, yeah. What's going on with you? What's up? And um, you did some albums, and uh, you did some concerts even though it was really difficult we yeah we have one debut album mm -hmm. yeah uh, we play the yeah we play we gig a lot I mean that's the only thing we still can do we can play and uh, yeah I mean uh, that's the life and where I come from it's normal <laughs> so um, do you have like material for another album or are you writing or recording by now we have materials with more than one. We, we, I mean, it can fit an album and plus. Okay, so yeah. you could could do two. So why not just release an album? Well, <laughs> <laughs> considering that we have, it's it's a bit complicated. But to make it simple, of course, it's financial. There's okay, so there's because the money. Because the metal scene is not big enough for it to be any market in my country. Okay. Mm -hmm. Although relatively, it's big yeah. for a country that's just four million inhabitants. It's it's a good scene, but it, uh, there's no investment. We don't have producers. We don't like we barely can find studios that would understand how to record metal mm -hmm. facilities. We don't have uh, our instrument choices are limited. Like you, you only have you only have like two two stores that sell oh, okay. um, uh, amps and guitars, and you just have these. You know, we don't have any this options. This is the sound you have. Yeah, this is done. <laughs> it's mostly like it's just mm -hmm. expensive and stuff. And financially, I mean, the country is in financial hell. You mm -hmm. know, so, so all so of it adds up. So the one thing is uh, the money. Anyone who wants to hear the record, just go for it and give them some money. <laughs> and uh, the second problem is that you don't have people to just do it yeah. and release yeah, yeah. the album yeah. Yeah. like producers yeah. Uh, yeah recording engineers all that is okay like so you lack the people who say yeah we know how to do it and we just can so help the only you. way to do this is actually grab ourselves and go to another country like in Europe or somewhere and, uh -huh, record. and try for this but that itself is like a challenge because you don't know yeah, if you're ever gonna get you the visas you don't mm -hmm. know if you uh, can ev actually gather money to travel because it costs yes. fortunes yeah, yeah. we're mm -hmm. stuck there now but uh, I think in the band history there was a lot of yeah we're gonna make it oh there's something happening yeah, yeah we're gonna make it oh there's something happening yeah, yeah. how did you survive that i don't know maybe we didn't <laughs> we're just <laughs> we're dead yeah, no, no actually uh the only positive thing i can think of all of this is that it just gives us more reason to be angry and when you're angry you write good music so you're kind of loud right i i, I guess so are we we're and uh, I noticed uh, a certain progressiveness in your music. Did you do that too? <laughs> mm, yeah, B yeah. Basically, the thing is, um, because we've been around since a long time. I've been, I'm a, like a dinosaur probably. <laughs> they've been, they've been in the band since like five, six years. Mm -hmm. uh, he's been with me since 2007. So we listen to a lot of different, you know. Uh, I used to be an extreme progressive metal and rock mm -hmm. fan from everything from Genesis to Dream Theater. <laughs> you know, okay, so I wide range. Yeah, I passed through the prog rock, prog metal thing. Mm -hmm. and, and now I'm more into thrash and death. But so this, the, all these we picked along the way. Mm -hmm. And finally, when you, you write the music, it. it's just there. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's here. And, yeah, and the influence of the members is pretty different. So that made, makes gives something really nice to the band. Mm -hmm. Everyone has a different. <laughs> influence on the 
main bands they like. So. But it's not just, say, a Western sound. No, 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 there is traditional very, sound yeah, in there, yeah. which is really interesting. So can you tell me something about this? Yeah, basically, uh, when we started writing this fusion mm -hmm. of Levantian folk, because I like to differentiate between Middle Eastern and Lebanese, mm -hmm. Lebanese, Syrian, the Levant, which used to be uh, yeah, Phoenicia, Phoenicia mm -hmm. before, and and Canaan. So uh, there's this big. We're in an area which has extreme multiple multiple cultures fusion, mm -hmm. whether from west and east or from the different civilizations. Mm -hmm. the, the, the I don't since the Egyptians, the pharaohs, up to, like all the civilization passed through this narrow place where we live. Mm -hmm. So it, it's all there, but uh, and and we got we, were, we used to be used to it. Like even when we wanted to write Oriental music, we would we wouldn't go be always too excited. Yeah, mm -hmm. especially yeah. me. Yeah, <laughs> it was like, a, oh, please, please, yeah. because we're we so used to it. Yeah, you hear it. Every like day. we want to play this classic thrashy stuff, or but then. You know, like you know, the culture comes through. Yeah, and, yeah, and you know, plus which is really cool for our ears, by yeah. the way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah. now we do like it, but it was so hard to get to the point to know what to do. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. we don't want to play typical Oriental music. And like, you're uh, always like, no more thrash, and then there comes the typical stuff in again. Yeah. And you're like, no more <laughs> progressive. Okay. Yeah, well, we try to make this fusion because y you're doing a, good with the fusion, I think. Actually, yeah. what we did is we we try to take full songs yeah. and try to see how we can we can play them exactly like they are but, but blend them with, them with with, with thrash you know yeah. Yeah. so uh, there's a traditional part in the song we played today mm -hmm. and it, it's actually uh, if you hear the oriental version of it it's really it's a it's completely different and it's dancish and we actually use the same notes I wouldn't hear that really. but with the with the whole sound of the, the guitars and the drumming mm -hmm. and we had the percussionist so yeah. he's a colleague of mine and so Having someone who studied Oriental uh, percussion, Oriental music, it helped fusing fusing the mm -hmm. songs. So yeah, he's asleep now. So, <laughs> yeah. so basically, in in musical terms, the most difficult thing about the the fusion of the of Oriental music, whether it's um, I'd like to say more Middle Eastern music because Oriental people yeah. think Far East, <laughs> Middle Eastern music and the Western music. Is that the, our music is mono uh, monophonic, mm -hmm. which, like you know, the, all the instruments. There's no uh, polyphony, mm -hmm. harmony. Uh, you don't do chords. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. It's linear, you yeah. know. Uh, while while the Western is polyphonic and harmonic, you harmonize and stuff. So it's very difficult because if we want to just integrate it, it's gonna sound so boring. And this is probably why I used to don't like it, <laughs> because it sounds too boring do, to us. Do like it like it's now. Yeah, now now we're <laughs> we're trying to get do it in a way where it sounds it's too mm -hmm. interesting without losing its heavy yeah. velocity. It took you us know? some you time, don't. but we're there. But yeah, we're getting it. Um, so I have a question that I put to all my interview partners, and this is what makes a person become an artist? Like, is there somebody else saying, yeah, this is an artist, or is it yourself saying, yeah, I'm an artist? I mean, are, are you an artist? Well, it's not, yeah, it's not up to the person to define if he's an artist or not. Okay. You can define that I want to be an artist, I mm -hmm. try to be an artist. But it's what you actually produce. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people that actually think they're artists. You yeah. know, like, I'm an artist, I, I have the, ri the right to do everything I want. <laughs> but it's like, yeah, it's a bit of both. It's a bit of what you think you're doing and what actually the production the product you're doing mm -hmm. you're giving to the people if they consider it as something commercial something underground something artistic something mm -hmm. political it's just like who who, de who defines political it's it's a, it's a book this is politics this is arts you know yeah. so yeah yeah but art is relative mm -hmm. that's why you can't exactly. say if you're an artist or not because for some people i can't it's stand justin bieber but there are millions of people watching them in a, in a concert mm -hmm. For that's example, not art. That's, that's mass production. That's art. That's art. mass that's media. Yeah. That's mass media. Art. And here comes the band fight. <laughs> no, the, uh, okay, the mod is outside the press <laughs> and you know that. No, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> no we don't do that. But, uh, yeah, I've, uh, there's many opinions about this because mm -hmm. like once I met a friend and she was arguing with me that like everyone is an artist. Everyone is an artist. You just that's don't know it. Yeah, it's relative. Like it's but I, I think yeah, I, I agree. It's both. Like you can mm -hmm. aspire 
and try. I mean, I remember when I was young, I wanted to be an artist. I wanted to do something artistic. Mm -hmm. And I, personal opinion, I think a real artist is the artist who wants to do something artistic and he doesn't give a damn if he's going to be called an artist or not. Or but if he's, he's in prison for that. Too, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> so he's just doing it because he wants to create this, create something. Yeah. And he doesn't give a damn what people think, or what mm -hmm. if, it's, if it's artistic or not. I think mm -hmm. that's more close to the real artist. Mm -hmm. As, as long as what he does is good. <laughs> as long yeah. as every person, this is what kind of Jad was saying. Like even if you don't consider Justin Bieber an artist, but the, the, what makes the, what you're doing art if you can have people relate to to what you're doing? What, it depends of, of on their level don't of agree. relation. Justin Bieber is just like Coca Cola. It sells. Yeah, yeah uh, but, but people who relate it to sells. Justin Bieber are Why teenagers. Are about Justin Bieber? I don't it's know. A he brought thing. About <laughs> we always talk about Justin Bieber. You always do it in your songs? No. No. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we might I hope not. Songs, okay. uh, so I have uh, still one more question about your voice. What's how did you voice? How did you learn to use it in so many different ways so well? You're doing such a lot of things. You're singing clean. You have really nice lows. You have high screams that are cool. How, how did you get to know how to do this? I don't know. <laughs> you just <laughs> did it? You no, just tried um, it? Right. No, I don't know. When I was young, when I started, when I discovered hard rock first and then heavy metal, because I'm not that young, just don't tell anyone. <laughs> I, I won't, it's a secret. <laughs> when I started discovering, Nobody's listening. When I started discovering this music, uh, I was imitating, I was young, so I had really, uh -huh. the vocal cords were still, you know, developing. So I, I just used to, imitate high pitches of Guns N' Roses and Judas Priest and <laughs> stuff like that yeah. and then I grew up and then I started Blackium and here's something probably I've never said in any interview before in 1996 <coughs> right after I was detained and blah blah and then we were trying to get the band going again we performed a concert mm -hmm. it was called Rock Concert One since in Lebanon <laughs> nobody used to do our concerts we don't need to name them and The, the members with me decided that I sounded horrible as a vocalist. You actually sounded horrible in the recording. Like you were porn, shut up. <laughs> so I have the cassette. <laughs> you have the tape, yeah. yeah. So uh, so they told me like either we get, bring a vocalist and you just play with him or we leave. No, I didn't want to stop singing. Mm -hmm. But then I decided that probably I do suck. So I went and I did classical, uh, classical singing, opera. I learned uh, with a with an opera singer. I did the opera thing because I was so into dream. Uh, sorry, Iron Maiden, and just wanted to sing like Bruce Dickinson, and uh, and from there. That's what I wrote into my review. Oh. Yeah. Oh, thanks. You're so welcome. <laughs> so basically, <laughs> if you s if you learn how to sing, you're learning how to use your vocal cords. Now, if you like metal, you'll learn how to use your, your vocal, vocal cords, cords in that direction. Yeah, you can even do it in jazz, imagine Exa that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a vocal coach. Oh, really? <laughs> Good. I need, I need some help. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> You're great. He, you sang, uh, he sang in a very different bands, in very different styles. He had a band called Communion. Yeah. They used to sing... Uh, I know this stuff because I'm his brother. So, uh, <laughs> he used to, think, to sing uh, Led Zeppelin, White Snake and this kind yeah. of stuff. Then. So, and he went to start singing Man of War, Iron Maiden, Dio, this kind of stuff. So then Metallica. Metallica. So uh, I with, I with Syrian band, band, yeah. Hour class, which is typical heavy metal. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so we singing different styles that yeah. actually helps you develop. I like classical music and I listen to Arabic music. So mm -hmm. it's, I mean, it's there. It's so there uh, to sum this uh, up, probably, if you're getting to do music you might be beaten down but you still stand up again yeah for yes <laughs> go to vocal lessons but also try yourself mm -hmm. and uh, never give up and uh, fund these guys a <laughs> CD <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you <laughs>